Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Hello, my little cupcakes. How are you? I am doing fabulous. Why fabulous? Because I'm this much closer to getting out of this place and it makes me so excited. So in today's video, I am uh, kind of basically doing a try on, except I start doing the try on and then I wind up going into like story time mode. So anyway, enjoy. Um, I know y'all do. So <laughs> I was just talking a little bit about all the fun stuff that has been going on as we are preparing to move. Oh God. Anyway, I'm excited. Um, but the makeup that I use in today's video and that I will also kind of give you a quick review at the end is the Natasha Denona Berry Pop Cheek Trio. The new palette from Bella Beauty Bar, the Ultra Violet Palette. This is in collaboration with Deandra Nicole. And then lastly, we're going to be talking about some new makeup that I got in PR from Makeup by Mario, the satin lipstick, lipstick, satin, lipstick, super satin. <laughs> Super satin lipstick. All right, anyway, so we have that. Full disclosure, this was sent to me in PR. The Bella Beauty Bar was sent to me in PR, which thank you so much. And the only thing that I purchased is the Natasha Denona. So yes, yeah, so mostly PR and with a little bit of me spending my own money, but not really because I bought this on a gift card and I feel really good about that. Anyway, so if you wanna see how I created this look, well, keep on watching. If not, listen to the very just stressful fun story times. Why, good morning, my little pepperoncinis. How are you? I already have my base down, as you can see, and I'm a glowy, glowy monster, and I love it. So the first product we're gonna be using today is from Natasha Denona, and this is the Blush and Highlighter Palette, which has come out, I feel like at this point, does anybody give a shit about this product? Probably not, but I bought it and I don't care. And I'm actually very proud of myself because I bought this using my points. So I'm hoping that this is good. If not, I'm gonna be very upset. <sighs> Anyway, so there are two blushes and there is a highlighter in here. So we are going to start with this blush first, then maybe add this one, but let's start here though first. I'm gonna use the base brush from Sonia G. Oh, she's pigmented for sure. Ooh, oh, I like that. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's do one side this color and then do the other side with the other color. I'm just gonna go over it with a little bit of a sponge just to see what that does. Nothing. <laughs> it still looks good. I'll take it. I like it. I'm just gonna add a little, just a little more. Y'all know me. I love to be blush heavy. Well, I think this looks cute. It's like a nice like little light wash of color. And what I have on my face today is the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer, which is one of my favorite bronzers ever. And what I like about this is that it's on the lighter side. So if you really want your blush to shine, so I feel like that is a nice product to kind of pair with that experience, if you will, right? Of like having your blush shine and ew, my hair is being stamped into my face. I love that. Out of curiosity, let's see what it looks like if I use my finger. It's a very nice like little buildable formula. I ain't mad at it. Clean my brush off, and now we're gonna use the other side. So I'm gonna use this guy. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that, especially when it's 5.30 in the morning, and I'm just trying to wake up. <laughs> this is, I mean, I, I like, I'm like, okay, this is cute. Okay, all right, let's see, how does this blend out? Okay. Uh, definitely better. I like that. I think it's really pretty. I'm very happy that I can blend that out because I think if I couldn't blend that out, <laughs> I'd be like, what am I gonna do? But I think this is cute. So I wanna see what it would look like uh, with a finger as well. I mean, do I need to do this? Definitely not on this side. I feel like I needed to do it on this side because it was a little bit on the lighter side. But I mean, I think just what I had on was fine. But I was like, you know what, out of curiosity, what does it look like? I gotta scratch that edge, you know what I mean? She's cute. You know, I gotta say, for what I spent, I feel really good about my purchase right now. I feel really good. I like it. Now that I have both of those on, I'm going to move over into this one, which is the Dream Glow Powder, which I don't know how it's gonna look on top of cream, on top of cream, on top of cream. So, hold on, you know what, let's see. If I with a very tiny little dainty blush brush. And technically I feel like I don't need a highlighter. I'm like, <laughs> but when has that stopped me? Never. So I'm gonna try it just a little bit, just to see. I don't typically like doing this, but I feel like once I put powder on my face, it's gonna be a wrap. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be like, where's the blush? Where's the blush? 
let me see so if i just do this ever so lightly she is blinding she's a slut we love her i have meetings today and i want to embody a slut and i feel like i'm doing a good job so this is good i'm gonna go in just with my finger i approve <laughs> i mean i think this is pretty cute and again the fact that i spent zero dollars on this just makes me so happy so happy <laughs> But if I did actually spend hard earned money on it, I wouldn't be disappointed. This is cute. So the next product that we're going to be using is from Bella Beauty Bar and I'm so excited because this looks so pretty. It's so pretty. I like this. Okay, we need to use that one. We need to use that one. Oh, we need to use that one. Oh, okay, okay. I love, ooh, ooh. All right, hold on. <laughs> I sincerely, bitch okay i'm distracted now natasha who f out of here okay now we got this i want all of this okay all over my face i want it all over my face i think i want that one though i love bella beauty bars shimmers they are usually just chock full of amazing unicorn goodness probably the best way i could describe it and these purples do not disappoint oh my god i don't know what i want to do i don't know what i want to do i'm so excited okay <laughs> i kind of want to do everything but i can't sorry i need a moment okay <laughs> i need a moment all right i'm just i'm in love with this oh that's so good okay 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 i kind of want to i kind of want to do that one just because it's so pink and pretty but then i also want to do this purple one because i am a sucker for anything that has a purple to like green cyan flip i am a sucker for so i don't know i'm kind of like i want to do two different eye looks but i can't because i have my performance evaluation today and we can't do that i need to look normal today i know i know we need to look normal <laughs> Well, as normal as one does when they are told that they are fabulous at their job and that they pretty much just, you know, are a complete joy to work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not bullshitting you. I have a good review. <laughs> but I take pride in that. I work my ass off. I deserve my good review. Anyway, so what do I do? What do I do? I think we need to start with the mats first, clearly. Even though I want to jump into the main course, we can't do that. We need to baby it. We need to build it up, if you will. So I think what I want to do is start with the shade piece we're gonna start with that one and i need to be very gentle because i am whew, cream on top of cream on top of cream so this is a little bit of a nightmare for me <laughs> so as much as i want to just like go fast and loose i don't want to experience any sort of fallout or unnecessary bullshit so we're just going to take our time today and uh in the meantime i guess i can tell you what's going on with me right so uh we are almost uh i look around this room and i'm like <laughs> uh, i mean i did a little bit of packing but not really that much um because i'm still like shooting videos and i wanted to get more done this week but <sighs> the joys of this place that we are currently in right now is just so amazing our stove died uh last friday um and it was great because alex was about to cook dinner and then we're like ah, the stove won't turn on what do you mean the stove won't turn on yep stove won't turn on so then we had to uh wait because it was a weekend and there's no maintenance people or anybody in the front office or anything like that so um we had to wait the whole weekend so i mean listen not mad that i like ate deliciously but still like you know I, i'd like to save money <laughs> moving stuff even if it is a local move it's expensive right it's expensive so um i was like oh this is a nice little f you here but um when the weekend passed and when monday came along monday <laughs> nobody came nobody came nobody came so i went to the front office and i was like hey just want to make sure that you saw my request over the weekend you know our stove died like, like i'm just so mad can you fix it i'm hungry and the lady that was sitting at the desk was like oh yeah the portal yeah the maintenance workers they don't see the portal okay I don't know like what do you do what do you want me to do do you want me to like write a note do you want me to attach it to a f pigeon or a falcon what do you want me to do you want me, do you want me to go to their house how do I tell them that I would love them to look at the stove in my house because it's dead and she just looked at me and went <laughs> yeah what do you mean yeah kind of like I uh, had a little bit of a standoff for about a good 35 seconds because we're like I'm not leaving until you tell me what i need to do normally i'm like okay yeah, yeah, yeah whatever and like i just kind of i don't want to say fold because that's a bad way of saying it but I'll, i'm just usually like 
fine. It's fine. I'll come back. But no, 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 no. Don't with fat girl's food, okay? <laughs> Don't ever do that. You want your hand bitten, bitch? Come on. So I kind of just stood there and I was like, Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? And then finally, <laughs> and finally, she's like, oh, I'm gonna write it down on this piece of paper, and they'll see it on this piece of paper. Okay, so you're telling me that the portal doesn't work, but they're gonna see this on this piece of paper where I don't know where you're gonna put it as soon as I leave this office. It could be nowhere. <sighs> And that's kind of what happened because they didn't come right away. <laughs> they came two days later. I guess she didn't like me standing at the door and being like, hey, can you just fix my stove? Um, so this is the shade. <laughs> this is the shade that I'm, I'm using right now. It's called Serenity. I'm gonna just blend out the edges ever so lightly with the Peace shade. But before it took them two days, I went back uh, like the next day because you know, I was like, hey, remember me? Hi. <laughs> Lady was like, you again. <laughs> I was like, yeah, funny story. Nobody came over. Nobody looked at my stove. Like, what's going on? She's like, oh, yeah, someone's on it. Someone will look at it. Okay. And then nobody came. <laughs> and then finally they came at 4 o'clock, whatever, the following day. And they were able to do whatever the f they did, but now it's uh, kind of working. But the, <laughs> the, guy, the guy was like, Yeah, there's something wrong with like the breaker box. It's probably gonna have to be replaced, you know. I'm like, not my problem. So uh, I just need to like survive. I need to survive, get out of here, and then I could care less what the f they do here. But everything is falling apart and I'm just so happy to be out. The other cute thing that we had to do was have to buy a new couch. <laughs> <sighs> so over the weekend, we were doing kind of, you know, we wanted to go see the house again and stuff like that. And so we were able to get access. Just wanted to like, you know, measure. We did like a quick little measure when we first saw it and it seemed fine. Turns out it's not fine. The couch that I purchased last year, too big. Bitch is too big. Too big. And if <laughs> there's no way to put it, there's no way to put it without it either blocking a whole door or chopping it in half and then like maybe sandwiching it in to a f space um so yeah then we had to go buy a new couch that was cool yeah moving is really fun <laughs> It's been really great, but honestly, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I think I got over the shock of it. I got over the shock of it. <laughs> you don't expect these little things to kind of pop up and they always do. And I should know that by now. I should know that by now. Nothing is ever going to go as planned. There's always going to be something that kind of just it up and it's true. So this looks really good. I thought I was noticing a little bit of patchiness, but it's because I'm kind of like taking my time more. I have to build up the color, but I think once I kind of build it up, it's perfect. It's everything I want it to be. It just takes a second because I just don't want to deal with any fallout because of this cream on top of cream on top of cream on top of cream on top of cream situation that I got. But this looks good though. I do love purple eyeshadows. Purples are usually very difficult to make too. So I'm loving this little guy. Again, I'm just going to take that light shade is the construction starting oh it's 608 oh yeah i hear i hear the guys talking i f i am so excited to get out of this hole i really am i shouldn't say it's, it's not a hole it wasn't a hole like when we first got here i really really did enjoy it but the constant construction holy I thought New York was bad, but this is a different kind of construction. This is like, they just go all day, all day. And I get it, I, get, I understand, but it's just like, <laughs> I wish there was more like separation between things. Like everything where I'm at is like on top of each other. And I think that was like my biggest thing that I liked when we got down here initially it was like, oh man, like there's so much separation between things, but they're just like packing people in here. Oh my God. And it's just so annoying. So annoying. And the funny thing is half the things that they're building are really nothing for the locals. It's more for vacationers because it's a vacation town. So you're getting all these like really beautiful houses, but like you can't rent them or buy them or anything. Like unless you are going to use them as like a rental property, which I mean, if you got that kind of money, bitch, you are winning in society. Okay. I'm like, how the fuck are these people affording this? How's anybody affording anything right now? They're building. Actually, does anybody that watched me have one of those little vacation homes? And I'd love to know more about it. 
Like, how the f does that work? I think this is good. I feel really good about this purple. She's light, she's airy, she's fun. She has a mind of her own. She's kind of a bitch, and we like her. Now I'm gonna take the shade Royalty, which is this purple right here, and we are going to kind of put that in the crease area. So, yeah, very exciting stuff. Oh, and then <laughs> I guess let me tell you about the other thing that's been going on too. The new place that we're renting is kind of like different property manager and all that good stuff and whatnot. Which I mean listen it makes sense before you gotta move in you need to make sure you have like utilities set up and you have your rent paid and and you these moving costs and blah 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 blah. You have all the you get to do. So one of the things is utilities and I had the most amazing conversation and by amazing I'm gonna say the most frustrating conversation of my life it felt like um so the community well, okay i guess like a little thing about florida there doesn't seem to be like gas communities here like everything is electric which is something that i'm not used to coming from up north like you had your you know gas like your heating gas your cooking gas and then your electricity so here no, at least from what I've seen anyway. I think there are gas communities, but they're few and far between. As I'm setting up the utilities, because since we're renting a house, we are responsible for all of the utilities, which makes sense. Okay, fine. So I have to set up my utilities and I have to go through like this third party. And this third party is really funny because I think they're just like run by children. <laughs> Because anytime I've had to tax or call somebody, it always sounds like a child I'm speaking to, which then makes me kind of question my whole life. Like, what am I getting into? But anyway, um, I noticed that my electricity and water were turned on, but it said, you know, gas was still pending, which kind of didn't make any sense because there's no gas here. So I called the property manager that I'm dealing with and I was like, hey, just to kind of confirm, you know, do we have gas? And I'm like, no. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm like, because uh, the utility company has like a little gas account and it just says pending for me. And unfortunately, they can't allow me to move into the house without having all the utilities paid. Yeah, there's no gas. You could just let them know that there's no gas and it should be fine. So I was like, okay, sure, no problem. So I wind up having to call the utility company and I was like, hey, yeah, you know, again, thank you so much for helping me out. Da, da, da. Um, thank you for setting up the other two, like the water and the electricity. However, I see that the gas is pending. They're like, yeah, you have a pending account. I'm like, okay, great. I'm like, actually, I shouldn't have one because there's no gas there. And they're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So you still need a gas account. No, no, there's no gas at all. Like, that's not a gas community. It's just only electricity and water. So we don't even need gas. So like, actually, you could not even do that step because there's no step to even do because there's no gas companies. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, how do you want to do the gas? I'm like, what do you mean? How do I want to do the gas? I don't want to. F do I was like, I was like, okay, okay, let's let's start from the beginning. I, I didn't say that because that'd be really condescending. <laughs> oh god! So with my big girl voice, I was like, yeah, I just confirmed. <laughs> I just confirmed with the property management, there is no gas. I should have no gas. So it's it's only electricity and water and that's it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So the gas is gonna take a couple of days. I mean, this honestly was like a test of my patience because I was like, I never wanna lose my or just like be mad at anybody or anything like that because I wouldn't want someone to do that to me. And listen, I get it. Sometimes we all have off days where it's just some things just, listen, the call is coming from inside the house. The hamster is dead on the wheel. I get it. We've all been there. We all had those brain fart moments. But when I have to say it like seven times in a row, there's no gas. And you're trying to ask me how I would set up the gas? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So after like another like five minutes or so, they were like, you know, I think I need to like ask my supervisor how we should proceed with the gas. And I said, yes, yes, let's, let's ask the supervisor. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, I don't know how else, how else I can say I don't live in a gas community and I don't need gas. And I get it. I could be lying, right? I could, I get that. Devil's advocate, I could be lying. They don't know that. And I just kind of wish they would have just said, okay, well, we can confirm that with your property management or whatever. If you have any questions, we'll call you back. That would probably would have been the more appropriate answer instead of just asking me over and over again, like, hey, so like, how do you want to set up this gas? How do I set up something that doesn't exist? I don't know. I don't know. But then the fun kind of didn't stop there. So after I got off the phone, 
<laughs> I had to go back to property management company. I was like, hey, just a heads up. Um, I think you should call them to let them know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it really is no guess because I mean I get it you know what I could be saying is completely bullshit but like they didn't even kind of question or challenge that so I, I don't know if I were you I would just like call and just tell them <laughs> help a bitch out okay <laughs> like this is you're stressing me out now okay this should be easy what is this why is this so stupid and difficult so needless to say after some time everything got resolved so that's good very very happy about that but <laughs> just like what the bro <sighs> then this is my favorite one so far. The company that I'm dealing with, the property company or whatever, I deal with like a couple of different people about certain things. So there's like a move-in person and then there's a property management person and then there's like, blah, blah, like there's like all these several different components that are kind of running, I guess, simultaneously, right? So I'm talking to my move-in person who has been very lovely. And I asked him a couple of questions like, oh, hey, like I, I saw this. There's a garage door. Are there garage door openers? Um, I saw like, what's the mail situation? like you know all this stuff a lot of these communities over here there's no like real mailbox either it's like they just have like this I don't even know what the f they're called they're like little I wish Audra was here because Audra would be like it's that stupid and I'm like thank you but it's like one of these things where several little different mailboxes it's like a mail station I don't know but it's like this little boxing but there's a million boxes and I was like oh man like which box are we because I don't actually see a proper mailbox anywhere on the property so when I was asking the lady like okay like how how do I go about like getting a key because it looks like everything had a key and stuff and I thought I remember seeing a key in the house but like I couldn't remember if that was the key to the mailbox or a key to something else right so when I was asking <laughs> to the moving person they were kind of like um yeah what you're gonna do is you're going to need to go to the post office like with your driver's license that has that address on it and uh like verify that you live there now or like you're renting from there and they'll be able to give you a key like how the f do I change my license if I kind of need the mail to do that right I'm still trying to understand what she was trying to say, but I was like, okay, okay. So essentially there's really nothing I can do. <laughs> so I need to have proof that I live here. Okay, fine. But I mean, I could show my lease, but you're saying that I need an actual photo ID, but my photo ID doesn't have that address on it because I feel like I really need, I don't know, a mailbox because if I do it online and say they mail me my license, how would I get it if I don't know where the mailbox is? Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. I was just kind of like, what the f So yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> that's going to be fun. Um, f I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But you know what I am though? You know what is working out for me today? This purple f***ing eyeshadow. I think it looks pretty. I think it looks beautiful. It's special. It's perfect. It's everything I want it to be. And I have to say, no mother fallout. So that's great. So what I want to do now is, oh, there's just so many good ones. I kind of really want to just do that one, but we're not going to do that one. I think I want to do that one. I probably should go with this one because I feel like this one actually would really match very well, but uh, I'm a sucker. I can't. Maybe I should do the pink. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of NYX glitter glue and then I'm going to panic and pick something. I kind of want to go with the shade creativity. I really do. Let's see. What does that look like? Oh, yes. Okay, this is everything. Mm -hmm. I love that little blue flip. So there is a little bit of fallout with this one, but I think that's me though, because I'm getting a little bit too excited. I'm kind of going all over the lid. Okay, so I'm going to now, whoo, all right. Oh, okay. <gasps> all right, good. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> Thankfully, 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 thankfully. The fallout is very easy to clean. Okay, so I'm gonna take it on my finger too. That is so pretty. That is dumb pretty. I love this. This is really cute. So now what I wanna do is, ooh, do I wanna throw a little something in the outer corner? I'm gonna take this brush from Refer, the number two brush, and I'm gonna just use the shade Powerful. I'm just gonna put that in the outer, just in the outer corner. Okay, I think this is everything it looks so good so what i want to do now is take a liner brush and i'm going to use the shade balance that's the only thing i will say it's probably the most difficult thing is the font on the background it's a little hard to read that is my only complaint but who gives a f right who cares when everything is so good I'm gonna add a little bit of this ColourPop multi-chrome liner in the lower lash line this is the shade act up and then i'm going to take the shade piece 
So I'm just gonna kinda blend that out, that lower lash line. And I'm gonna take that shade Serenity, and I'm gonna blend that out. Oh, she is so cute. And then I'm gonna take the shade Magical. I'm gonna pop that just in the inner corner. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to put some mascara on, do the next eye, and then we're gonna do a lip, and we're gonna just round this bitch up. So the next thing I wanna use is these lipsticks that Makeup by Mario gifted me. Thank you. It comes in this little fancy drug pouch. Love that for me. What do we got here? Do we have anything that's gonna work with us? Let's hope. I love uh, Mario's lipsticks. I think they're really good. This is a very, very pretty red color that, uh, I'm not a fan of that. Ooh, oh, basic bitch dream. Okay, this is Bronx Baby. <gasps> I love that. And then of course we have Nolita. Let's see, what is Nolita? What does that look like? Ooh, okay. Nolita looks kind of pretty too. All right, so that's what Nolita looks like. Okay. And then we have Bronx Baby, which I mean, Bronx Baby I think is winning. And then the red, which I mean, ooh, okay. That's cute too. Um, not doing red. Red, I don't know. I'm trying to work up my courage for the red. <laughs> my courage. I'm working up my courage for the red. Uh, so I think we're gonna do Bronx Bait. <sighs> you know what? Mmm, maybe Nolita actually. Cause it has the purple and we are a purple, purple bitch. So this is like my purple people eater moment. My berry purple eat, purple people eater moment. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. All right, so these are the super satin lipsticks. Okay, you know what? Let's let's go with Nolita, let's go with Nolita. Ah, oh, dead, I'm dead, this is good. Oh, she cute as f I love her, I love her, I love her. I feel good about this, I feel good about this. Let's talk about it. I adore this look, I look so cute. And I feel like this is just so, I don't know, apropos for today's little meeting that I have. So I am excited. Anyway, okay, so let's start with the Natasha Denona palette. This is the Berry Pop Cheek Trio. This retails for $48. You can pick it up at Ulta or, 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 you can go to the Natasha Denona website and you could pick it up there. And if you do, you can use my code whew, garbage where you could save 10% off your order. Anyway, okay, so Natasha Denona product. <laughs> This is really good. If you are familiar with the My Dream Trio, it's kind of within the same vein, except it's more of a berry tone. So here are your three colors. We have the cream blush here, the tinted glow cream base, and then we have the Dream Glow Powder. So you have two cream products and then one powder. Both of these blushes I think look fantastic. I really love the application of both of them. I will say the darker one obviously is a little bit more pigmented. So if you are scared that you're like, oh, that's just not gonna work for me. It's gonna be like just too much. Don't worry, it does blend out very beautifully. And with ease so you don't feel like a little garish clown. Yay! <laughs> I also love this color right here. It's just, I don't know, it's like, ah, uh, chef kiss. It's just so beautiful. And I also love how there is a nice glow to it. So you really technically don't need a highlighter because I feel like it does a really good job kind of just highlighting this area over here. And while doing so, it doesn't contain any sort of glitter or anything like that. So it just gives you that beautiful natural highlight, uh, which I know a lot of people do love. I love myself, but I also love being an extra alien slut because I cannot help it. I can't help it. Anyway, now when I put both of these on my cheeks, I kind of felt like, yes, there was a difference, but then I ultimately kind of like toned it a little bit down just because I have a meeting today and uh, I just, you know, want to look my best. I want to look my best. So I think I did a pretty good job and uh, I don't think you could really tell the difference because of me doing that. But in any case, I like both of them. I think they're both really, really good products. The highlighter, <laughs> bitch. I was a little scared at first because I normally like to kind of set this area down before I decide to jump into any powder products. But I figured I'm going to throw caution to the wind and we're going to see how this works. And I'm glad that I did because I think it looks really, really pretty. I applied it very lightly with a fan brush and then ultimately I kind of like went in with my finger and just lightly kind of patted it on. And as you can see, I mean, <laughs> bitch is blinding. She is so blinding. So I feel like this just pairs so well together. Oh, I'm so obsessed. I was a little concerned because actually when I first saw the photos of this, I was like, oh, this is gonna work out really good. But then when I saw it, 
in person. I was like, oh, this could be a little too dark for me, but I'm happy that it's not. It looks really, really nice. I like the shade of it. It's a very pretty, like pinky kind of icy champagne. And I don't know why, but it's kind of like coming up a little bit more like champagne gold as opposed to pink. But in any case, I really, really do enjoy it. Now, had I spent $48 on it, I would be very excited about it because it reminds me of the My Dream Trio. But being that I used an Ulta gift card and I did not have to pay anything else beyond that. I literally got a hundred dollars order. Very proud of myself. As you can tell, I'm still talking about it. But the fact that I didn't have to pay any money, that makes me so happy. This product is awesome. But had I spent $48, I'd be very, very happy. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this guy. And if it's anything like my dream trio, this is going to be great. The longevity is going to be great. Everything is just going to be perfect. So I'm excited. I'm so happy. So yes, this is good. Definitely go check it out. I think in Ulta it is sold out. So if you do go again on the Natasha Denona website, use the code phew, garbage to save yourself some money. And yes, it is an affiliate code. So heads up there. So the next product I want to talk about is from Bella Beauty Bar. And this is in collaboration with Deandra Nicole. This is the ultraviolet palette. And this is going to be released on the 26th, which is the day that you see this. So hi, um, this is me from the past. Hi, I'm a huge fan of this palette. I wish I could tell you a little bit about it more like the price of it. But unfortunately, that information is a little bit hard to find. I was trying to scroll through Instagram, can't find shit on it. So I don't know exact price point, um, but I feel like it's probably consistent with Bella Beauty Bar palettes. I love a good purple palette and I feel like purple palettes, I don't know, like it's very hard to find a good one because <laughs> purples are usually traditionally very difficult to make. So I was super intrigued by this one because I feel like it does a really good job of providing some warm purples as well as some cool purples, but then you're like, you know what? No, f that we're going to give you every possible like beautiful shimmery shifting purple underneath the sun anything that could potentially even pair with purple is so good and I absolutely am such a huge fan of the shade creative which is what I have on my lids today although I really 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 wanted to use spiritual really badly god that looks so it's just so good it's so good what I love about Bella Beauty Bar is their shimmers I think their shimmers are some of the best shimmers that are currently out there right now if you're looking for or a palette that has like a nice mix of multi-chromes and duo chromes and just metallic goodness, start with Bella Beauty Bar. Not only do they have probably some of the more interesting tones, but I never really experienced any sort of like heavy glitter bukkake or shade lifting or crumbling or any sort of weird reaction to NYX glitter glue. Everything always looks just beautiful and seamless. Anytime I have one of their palettes on my eyes, I usually get asked, what do you have on your face? And they're like, oh my God, because it's so captivating, bitch. That's why. <laughs> the other thing that I really do enjoy is their mattes. Although I will say like their shimmers will always be like S tier. Their mattes are like A tier. Still very, very good. But I think just the standout will always be their shimmers. But the mattes in this one though, bitch, I am a fan. Now granted, I didn't use all the mattes, right? But I tried to use a fair amount of purple because again, purple is very notoriously difficult to make. And it's usually patchy and gross and horrible. And you're like questioning all your life's choices when you're using it. But not this one though. This was very seamless. I wanted to take my time though, however, because I noticed when I started to kind of pick up the product on my brush, it was a little bit of like powderiness to it. So to avoid all, you know, the fallout, especially on top of cream products, which would make it very difficult to clean up. I decided to just really go in very slow and I'm happy that I did because yes, while it did take me an extra like 10 minutes to do so. Everything just looks beautiful and seamless. Initially, I was like, ooh, is this a little patchy? But no, it was just the speed of me doing it because I just wanted to kind of baby the sh out of it. Because again, just didn't want to deal with the fallout. That said, I did experience a little bit of fallout actually with the shimmers with the shade Creative. Thankfully, it was very, very easy to clean. And that was totally my fault because I got really excited. <laughs> I first saw it go down and I was like, oh my God, I want to see it like how it looks all over the lid. And I mean, it does not disappoint. Uh, but thankfully the fallout is very easy to clean. I usually have also um, a good amount of fallout when I use some of the darker mattes as like a liner shade. And this is not even just this palette. This is pretty much any palette, but I'm happy to report that I didn't get any sort of uh, with this, sh uh, no, with this shade actually, which is the shade Balance. I have that as a liner shade and she looks good. I love this. I think this is so cute. This is so good. I don't have a bad thing to say about it. I really don't. I'm kind of mad that I have a meeting today because I really would love to just do two eye looks and be on my merry way, uh, but we can't. So I'm a little bummed out by that, but I can't wait to take this off to keep playing with this palette because I feel like you have a lot of variety here, which is just super nice. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't, I don't have a bad thing to say about it. I think it's really
good and i can't wait to try the other palette it was kind of like a toss-up between this one or the dead roses palette which i think this palette also gets released today um and i was gonna go that route because you know yeah it's like a berry palette and i could definitely oh my god like this is this is gorgeous this would have paired perfectly um also with the natasha denona but i don't know like if i had to choose between both of them i would lean towards this one i think this one's definitely more unique because again to find a good purple palette that has a little bit of everything there's nothing in this palette that i would ever replace i feel like every shade is kind of perfect i think if i compared the two i would go with the ultraviolet that one's definitely more unique well this again this is pretty it's a very good anti-valentine's day palette oh my god i can't and now i need to like swatch that one and i need to swatch that one okay yeah okay yeah this doesn't disappoint god damn okay <laughs> Ooh. okay that that is intense can i also put this on my face too <laughs> come back for the next video we're gonna do this one <laughs> I need to play with this one. It's it's calling to me. Again, I really sincerely believe that when it comes to shimmers, that is where Bella Beauty Bar shines. Their masks are great, they are great, but I think it's the shimmers. The fact that they are able to, I don't even create these just beautiful color stories. Bitch. Oh, they're so good. Deandra Nicole, she did an amazing job at this one. An amazing job at this. And I cannot wait to keep playing with it. Oh my God. I cannot stop swatching them too. Like that is just gorgeous. Like, come on. Yeah, man like it's so good that said i am an affiliate with the brand so if you are interested in ever saving any money use the code Phew, garbage now will this code work on this palette i don't know i'm not too sure <laughs> i don't know honestly but if it does great if not sorry but i imagine it would work on other palettes so yeah usually when it comes to collaborations it's kind of a big old question mark but uh if you can use it great but if not i'm sorry I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so let's move on to the last product and that is from Makeup by Mario. And these are the Super Satin Lipsticks. These are so good. So these were sent to me in PR, which by the way, thank you so much. I don't even know how you know me, but thank you. <laughs> like seriously, I would have picked up at least one or two of these had this not got sent to me because I really love, love, love the Makeup by Mario uh, Ultra Suede Formula, which is kind of funny because I don't like matte lipstick. I usually find it to be bullshit insufferable and just hard to just use because it's just sucking the life out of my lips but that formula that particular formula just checks all the boxes for me so the fact that they were releasing a super satin line i was like ah, bitch i'm listening i'm paying attention but i didn't really feel like i needed to get it right away because i don't know lipsticks are just not my favorite makeup product honestly highlighter is so when there's a new highlighter yes i need to run and get it i need to be the first one in line but lipsticks it's like kind of an afterthought but these though these are really interesting because they kind of remind me of my favorite lipstick formula as of late which is from gucci gucci makes this really beautiful i think it's like satin rouge lipstick oh my god the color blaze of noon that formula is just everything to me the fact that these come very close to it is pretty mind-blowing because i believe the gucci ones they're priced at 55 dollars if i'm not mistaken and these are 28 you do the math okay <laughs> you do the math this is good this is good i kind of wish though i wish that i could get the ultra suede colors in this formula as well because i love the shade sam <gasps> i love the shade sam so much and i wish i could just get that but i could probably find something that's kind of comparable or pretty close but yeah this is this is good this is good it's super comfortable it was very easy to apply as soon as it touched my lips I was like yep this is it I know it I love it it was super creamy I didn't feel like it was kind of bleeding or getting all over the place it didn't go into the outer corners it didn't create any of this weird like extra crunchy bits that sometimes happens in the corners of your mouth because you're talking way too much the color which is Nolita is just so perfect it's like one of the most just beautiful nudes i've ever seen and i just cannot wait to continue to wear it this is the kind of uh, shade that would just live inside of my handbag because i feel like it would just look good with everything and anything so yeah I don't, I don't have a bad thing to say about it and i also appreciate that they sent it to me in like a little weird fun drug pouch so thank you <laughs> But if you are in the market for a very beautiful, comfortable lipstick that's hydrating, but that's not messy and that feels weightless and just luxurious, kind of has that feel of Gucci without the Gucci price tag, 
look at this this is really really nice really good I'll let you know of course in the updated video if I'm still loving it but I've been talking for a while now and I've kind of had to stop and re-record because the construction kind of hear a little bit of it but it'll get into a point where it just goes bam 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 I don't know what the f they're doing something with metal and a giant hammer I'm assuming but like I have to stop because I lose focus and it's so annoying love that for me so I'm trying to like record this pretty fast eh. anyway this is good I like it I'm a fan. I'm happy. I look really cute today. I think I obviously need to change my shirt because it says dead inside. So I need to be more work appropriate. But um, I feel like this is a really cute little work appropriate uh, look today. I'm cute. I'm adorable. Can't wait to be told that I'm fantastic <laughs> at my job. Spoiler alert. I did read my review and it was great. So that's why I know I did a good job. <laughs> my manager knows that I have anxiety. <laughs> she likes giving me the heads up first. Mm. Anyway, so um, yeah, we're good. This is all good. I love this. I love this very much. And um, I couldn't have asked for a nicer makeup day. I love when these days happen. These are the kind of days I should play the lottery for sure. Anyway, <laughs> now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know if you are planning to pick up any of these products or if you have some of these products, let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I want to say thank you again to Bella Beauty Bar as well as Makeup by Mario for sending it to me and to myself for just being so savvy when using... Um, <laughs> Ulta gift cards. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, Threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty. Garbage butter flow. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble your lips. So you lip inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And I'll see you little cacti later. Bye.